Hey guys, welcome up to season one, episode six of Supergirl. Here we go. What's wrong? Radar picked you up out over the city. Is everything okay? Fine. Just came to clear my head. Everything's fine. Up here. Relaxing. So she gets hit by a. Oh, you gotta be kidding! I was gonna say a plane. Gotta go. They really doing road rage right now. That's just stupid. What are you saying? Hey, I just paid this car off. You totaled my friggin' car before you totaled all these kids. You better get out of my face, you stupid. Now you're hurting me. Oh, come on. Supergirl scares young children at a local school. Okay, if they're scared by that, after saving someone, and then that guy was trying to... to run over an entire okay, they, they screw them. <laughs> men who go crazy behind the wheel. You, you just might want to look at this. I'm just glad these two men were only in the hospital, and not the morgue. We're all so worried about police brutality. Maybe we ought to put a body camera on Supergirl. I mean... Oh, 0930, I have to get to work. Oh, uh, by the way, my dad's in town. <laughs> On business. Plus, he would like to have dinner. Oh, hey, Kara. Thank you so much for the invite, by the way. I'm really looking forward to it. Sure, yeah. Me too. <laughs> I'll see you there. Invite to what? I, I meant to mention that. Um, now that Lucy's in town... Uh, I hope it's cool with you. I, I invited her to game night. To of her. course, yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> game More night. Okay. Who doesn't like being married? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, gotta get back. I'll see you later. All right. She totally did not like that. All these televisions. That visual noise is my work, mother. That's right, my daughter. What do they call you? The proletariat princess. Queen of all media, mother. Mm -hmm. So, what brings you to National City? Book tour. I edited Paget Willoughby's newest novel. Well, la di da Perhaps you'll uh, listen to it when it comes out in audiobook form. I'm sure Carter would love to see you while you're here. I don't think I'll have the time, dear. Oh, Did he God. get the um, savings bond I sent him for his birthday? Mm. Didn't you read the article I wrote? I didn't get a Super chance. Superwoman just doesn't The young man sitting on the plane next to me had a copy. It looked like he read some of it. Right this very second. It, it's just, it's not a good time. Well, actually, I can't talk to Wynn. Absolutely not. Are you out of your mind? Wynn, we need your help. To, to break into the DEO mainframe? Uh, that's not help. That's treason. Mm -hmm. No. Only if you get caught. No. It's only treason no. if you Okay, I'm on. sorry. It's about her dad. <sighs> it's dirty pool, Danvers. You know I have daddy issues. <laughs> His name was Jeremiah Danvers. <laughs> the DEO found out about Clara soon after she landed on Earth. They threatened to take her unless my father went to work for them. Okay, okay. <laughs> See, that wasn't that hard. And she's gone. Yeah, me too. What if he has like a microphone on them or something? It's like, I heard that. Your covert operations could be handled effectively with my special forces and with This guy's like a military assistance. dude in every show or every We've movie been or whatever. Something, an anti -insurgent and his voice fits perfectly for it. Too. RT. I need her help testing it for me. She has no choice. We have an executive order forcing you to comply. My legal attache and my daughter, Major Lane. <laughs> it's been signed by the president. It's an anthropomorphic pseudo entity with combat capabilities. I stand corrected, doctor. That's her dad. You want her to fight off a knockoff vision? <laughs> All right, let's do this. Wait, does the robot fight mean that, that game night's canceled? No, no. Game night is the last shred of normalcy that remains <laughs> in our crime-stopping, alien-hunting, DEO-hacking lives. Game night survives. It has to. Game night! Uh, 
Lucy and I'll see you there. It'll be fun. <laughs> it will not be fun. <laughs> Dinner with your mother is confirmed for eight. I reserved a table right on the beach. I cleared my evening for you. Kitty, what could you possibly have to talk about with two Nobel laureates and Margaret Atwood? No. Damn. Enjoy your dinner, mother. That's so mean. The filter is off. This waste model looks like a wet rat. Take it back to editing. The entire thing needs to be retouched and stay there until it's finished. I'm sorry. Do you have plans? It's just this, um, office game night thing we do. Office game night? Kira, really? I'll get these to editing right away. Damn. Okay, okay, I, I absolutely hate the texture of this in my mouth. Eggplant. Yes! Uh, it's a cre this creature. Um, the things on his, on his arms. The I don't know, but... Pass. <laughs> uh, okay, the... No. Oh, Superman. You should have just said uh, Jimmy Olsen's special boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I met uh, his little cousin today, Supergirl. Wow. Oh, you did? Yeah, I wasn't that impressed. Oh! <gasps> you see a movie star in person and you're like, is that it? I guess that's it. Oof. I don't know how I feel about this thing. What? Only the Flash can do that. Okay. Maybe she's not taking this seriously. Or something. Someone tell the robot to stand down because it's still fighting. I can't see it. He's in stealth mode, making him 100% undetectable. This is your fault. Oh, you asked me to fight it. And now your recklessness has unleashed an uncontrollable killing machine on National City. Is that my fault? <laughs> How's that her fault? <laughs> the red tornado failed, and so did you. You're fired. <laughs> Honestly, it didn't really put up Kira. much of a fight. Kara! Yes, yes, I'm here. Maybe Finally. she said her name right. She'd show up faster. I have been screaming your name over and over for the past minute and a half. I work so hard for you. I don't ask questions, I don't complain, and all you do is yell at me and tell me I'm not good enough, and it's mean. Why are you so mean? <laughs> oh my god. I, I didn't, I didn't mean that. I, I, I don't know what happened, I just snapped, I don't. Forward the phones. We're going. Where are we going? Chop chop. <laughs> she's not fooling me. I feel like she's she really nice. Cares. Under underneath yeah. all of that. Hope no one's trying to Clearly it's her mom's fault the way she is. I'm not certain someone was trying to kill you the last time. Because uh, we could see some vulnerability girl. there. I know you don't trust the government after what happened to your parents. But this thing is dangerous. And if you want to prove to me that you're not the bad guy... I don't trust the government and nothing's happened to my parents. <laughs> oh boy. Scotch, neat. See. I'll just have a closer. Thank you. Never trust a man who doesn't drink. I was uh, surprised to hear that you and Lucy were back together. Surprised or disappointed? Both. <laughs> I know what you're really doing in National City. Red Tornado. First of all, you don't like me because I'm friends with Superman. And now because I know Supergirl? That is not why I don't want you seeing Lucy. Then what is it? You're not good enough for her. Oof. And I will always I look out for her. She has a bright future. 
in a way. I, do not I mean, I don't understand how the incredible height she is he capable couldn't of be. because she's invested too much time and energy in a glorified paparazzo. You ally yourself with people you think are special, but that doesn't make you special. Ooh, ooh, okay, and now you're just attacking. That's just, mm, this is mean, man. This is what I'm called for. Let's order. That was really harsh and uncalled for. Really sorry about You apologize part. too much, which is a separate, although not unrelated, problem. No, this is about work and anger. <laughs> Whatever you do, you cannot get angry at work, especially when you're a girl. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm, I'm actually still working on my first one. Did you want another one? She's going to be When I gone. was working at the Daily Planet, it would have been all over the papers. It would have been professional and cultural suicide. Then what do you do? Why I do mean, that, find a release? the two-sided hypocritical, what she's talking about, that goes for so many things, not just that. Is that you need to figure I can out agree what's with really that, bothering though. you. For example, I am so In a way, furious with my mother. So I, I, I think nowadays it's kind of changing so as far as the temper with but that. The, and this is the important bit. Find that anger behind the anger. And you need to figure out what is really making you Wise thinking from drunk. It's, it's, it's accurate. Thank you for dinner, Doug. My pleasure. Well, that's great. Lucy! I order you to disengage immediately! You got an arm. What? I'm not gonna let you hurt that. How did how did his arm come back? What? The fact that they even made that is dumb. They created something that can cause natural disasters. That's really bad. Well, nothing's broken. She's lucky. You saved my life. Thank you. Of course. You let that thing get away. I thought you were on our side. This guy's just judging I everyone. It, I, it I, fought harder this time, faster. I, like it learned a thing or two from do. the last go. <laughs> it's like it knew that's just his own to save those people. The tornado was just a diversion to get away. If anything else happens, you and the DEO will both be held accountable. That's enough, General. Some have horns, and others spit acid. Do you know the difference between them and her? She's blonde. She saved you and your daughter tonight. You don't owe her fear and contempt. You owe her a thank you. I uh, see. This is the fight we need. Thanks, man. <laughs> I think Lucy's Next gonna change her mind on her. Said he saw you on the news fighting Red Tornado. He wants to talk to me. Agent Dam. You it's a date. You. <laughs> you want my help? I want to know more. What are you saying? You're looking for Frankenstein's monster. You shouldn't be looking for Dr. Frankenstein. That would explain how it got the its monster. arm back. It's working with someone else. He totally has a thing for you. That's so obvious. We can't exactly join a kickboxing class. <laughs> You, know, you punch the car? Clark having to get his rage on. Because he's a man. I hate how my emotions get the best of me. And I hate how my sister doesn't know what happened to her father. Cara? Oh my god. She's like, that worked way too right. well. Seeing you and Lucy makes me think that I'm never going to have what you two have. Someone who knows everything about me. Because my normal life 
ended the second my parents put me on that ship, and that makes me so mad. There's a lot of emotion in this episode. <laughs> we draw out the android. Then we trace the relay signal Dr. Morrow is using to control it back to Dr. Morrow. Kara, keep it. It just seems too easy it that it would be him, but I don't know who else it could cool be. This time. I'm not afraid of my anger anymore. I can use it. Channel it to work for me, not against me. General Lane. Well, I mean, we are halfway through the episode, so why would we have a solution that will rectify the screw that we've up. never met? But so, yeah, okay. I feel like it was only a matter of time before we were going to figure this out, though, regardless of having that guy's help or not. Because the android was fixed. Like, they can't do it to themselves. Maybe they could. How did you manage to project a thermally accurate 3D hologram of me over 70 miles away? Technology from those Kryptonians you're so scared of. <laughs> oh. 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 That won't do anything. It is how I relay into God, that was just so easy. Matrix. You'll have to kill me. You don't have to throw your life away. The red tornado is my life. Why would he go rogue like that? That's not what? So now it's alive? She's getting a lot of anger out right now. waiting to take us to the airport, Lucy. We have a flight back to Metropolis at 1900 hours. No more orders, Dad. I'm not coming with you. I'm not working for you anymore. I'm resigning my commission. What? He's fighting for the same things I am. We are on the same team. That's why I'm staying. Yeah. I hope that one day when you realize what a the terrible gorgeous, mistake you The made. gorgeous person isn't leaving. Look it at her eyes. Now, Vera, I try not to let that go to my head. <laughs> What's going on? Did you find something? Uh, Alex, you might want to sit down. Wayne, tell her. Or, or lean over. Um, so I, it took some digging. Both your father and the other agent disappeared. I mean, they were both presumed dead. Until. Until. About a month later, the other agent mysteriously showed up. A scratch on him. Uh, he, he claims he doesn't remember anything that happened. Alex, it was Hank. These redacted files have his digital signature. He, he is the one who deleted them. Why would he delete the files? Oh, that's... I was waiting for... Why do we need to sit down? <laughs> because he's hiding something. He is hiding something. We've, because we've been saying this. Because maybe the man that I have been working with for the last two years killed my father. All we do know is Hank Henshaw was the last person to see your father alive. Yeah, and something seriously is wrong with him. He might be part alien now, or like he's possessed or something. He's got the glowing red up. Yeah. How do you justify paying a salary to such an unreliable person? 
First of all, she's about to go off. Oh my god. I don't pay her very much. I understand, Mother, that you have always been threatened by my success and you try to elevate yourself by denigrating me, which is fine, but you are not allowed to do the same thing to my assistant, who, by the way, is excellent at her job. I, I think I'll use the ladies before I. Let's go. It made me feel normal. It was just for effect. Get me Advil. <laughs> Get me Advil. Thank you. Would you like me to call your mother a car? She can take her broom. <laughs> oh, 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 goodness. Oh, no, be careful, be careful. You might cut yourself. Fine, it's fine. Oh, I told you to be careful. Are you all right? I'm bleeding. What? That's not supposed to happen. I wonder if she um exhausted herself or something when she destroyed that tornado, red tornado android thing. I wonder if she, like, pushed her limits to where it, like, weakened her, wore her out, you know? If that's even a thing, like, can you even, is that, is that even a thing? I don't know. Um, like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. Season 2, Episode 8 of The Flash is coming up next. I will see y'all next time.